them big girl panties on, Gingy. Everybody, welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Amai and today is nope that's not my intro anymore hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Amai and this is beat TV beat TV is the series on my channel where we watch an episode of a TV show with been mostly cartoons but we could switch it up if you want while I put my makeup on notice you guys that I did change my intro because this will not be a weekly series anymore for a long time it really wasn't a weekly series because my consistency was not where I thought it should be but it is officially no longer a weekly series because I do want to branch out and do different things with my channel. I will be uploading these as often as I can because I know you guys like them and I like making them but I do want to have time to do other videos that I have wanted to do because I work 40 hours and sometimes getting out multiple videos in a week is not feasible for me so we'll be doing beat tv but we'll also be doing other things if that's not for you god bless see i hope you guys enjoy my new content if not i today we are watching my most requested video that i have ever ever gotten on this channel it is the episode Dodie's big break and I'm gonna try my best not to cuss out cartoon characters today I haven't seen this episode in a very very long time to be honest with you guys I do not watch season three of as told by ginger um I don't like it it gets me in my feelings and I'm a big crier so um I try not to watch it but I am watching this episode today. This, especially after her appendix, we're gonna get into it. But before we do get into it, here is a word about a product that I've really been liking lately. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys my new favorite candles. I've talked to you about them before. They are Dakari candles. I got two from the new fall collection. I have Cozy, which smells like cinnamon vanilla, and I have Dream that smells like cranberry apple marmalade. I picked these up from Shira herself. They came in this super cute bag. The packaging is gorgeous. It has like this I don't even know what you would call this. It came with a little piece of chocolate and it also came with a care instructions card on how to use and properly care for your candles. I'm telling you guys, I've burned these for at least like eight hours a piece and they have barely made a dent in the candle. They smell so good and fragrant that when I was on my way home, I literally drove with them in my lap so I could keep smelling them. I keep them on my desk next to my bed when they're not even lit and I can still smell because they smell so good and it's not an overwhelming scent either but it does fill the air the burn time is really really long so these will last you a long time i'm telling you i've burned this candle for at least eight hours and maybe like half an inch is gone from this candle you guys need to shop with shira they are very inexpensive and you are getting a very quality candle handmade from a black owned business and you know we love black owned businesses so go shop with my girl shira and get you some dakari candles because they are literally my new favorite thing in the whole world all right so the episode begins and this is the episode right after ginger is out of the hospital from her appendix bursting um right after she discovered darren was cheating on her but this is right after her appendix burst she is out of the hospital and she is back in school she is now dating a new guy called orion <laughs> and she has his picture in her locker and it is covering a picture of her and Darren. And I'm like, Bestie, if you had time to take up a picture of Orion, why didn't you have time to take down the picture of Darren? But I digress. So Macy approaches her at her locker and she's like, Macy, do I look like crap? And Macy's like, well, you don't, don't look like crap. So Ginger's like, well, where's Dodie? I just want to get all of these like out of the hospital big reactions out of the way as soon as possible so I can go back to living like normal. And here comes Dodie in the gopher costume because that is the mascot of uh, Lucky High School where they are now. Hey, it's me in editing. No, it's not. They're the goats, but they have a gopher costume for some reason. And 
she is ranting and raving about how the cheer coach had made her the gopher i guess because they're doing some sort of like not initiation but like you can't just be a freshman on the team you got to kind of work for it to be a cheerleader so this is what they're doing to dodie to make her sort of earn her spot and dodie doesn't ask hey ginger how you doing how are you feeling none of that she's just like y'all look at what i did like your friend's appendix just burst and she got cheated on in the, in the span of three episodes and you don't care you care more about your stinky gopher costume we are only <laughs> we are only like 20 seconds into the episode and it's already dumb girl come on y'all already know i skip over the carl and hoodsy parts of the episode why because i don't care about them if you do you can watch this on paramount plus um i am not affiliated with paramount plus in any way it's just where i go to watch all of my most of my cartoons but if you do care about the uh carl and hoodsy subplot it is on Paramount Plus, the full episode, if you want to watch it there. If you don't know, in high school, Ginger also has a teacher named Miss Zorsky. She is the original, super sweet, amazing Miss Zorsky's sister. I can't remember if she's older or younger, but she is the original Miss Zorsky's sister. And this Miss Zorsky is mean. So when Ginger shows up to class nine seconds late, um, and she tells her like, I, my append I just got my appendix out, like I'm struggling. She just kind of tells you like high school is like life and no one cares about your appendix. So don't waste my time anymore. So during lunch, Ginger is online to get some food and Miranda bumps into her and Macy's kind of just like, hey, yo, watch out. The girl just got out of surgery. And Miranda's like, I had my tonsils out twice and I didn't do all this milking sympathy thing that you're doing right now. Like, get over it. And Ginger goes on this thing about like how it's hardly the same. Also, you can't have your tonsils out twice. Miranda says they grew back. I don't know, but <laughs> um, she runs into Orion, who kind of tells her like, "Ooh, girl, you look crazy, but maybe you should be milking the sympathy thing." I would. And then she turns around and bumps into Darren, and it's like, "Oh, ah, oh, how you doing, boo? Like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me." <laughs> And then Simone pulls up like, hey babe, did you save us a seat? And she's wearing Darren's iconic green flannel. Blech. We don't like Simone, that's the ops. And Simone is like, hey Dodie, hey Nisi. And Ginger, if I was Ginger, I'd be like, like I'm usually not the girly that's like, you can't mess with them if I don't mess with them. But that was egregious. He cheated on her and then her appendix burst and then you pull up to the hospital with her you pull up to the hospital with her while i'm dying all right dramatic but what the hell you couldn't have left her in the waiting room Ugh. maybe they did i haven't seen this episode in a long time but still disrespectful to even have her there then ginger kind of expresses frustration with this and dodie's like well you're still gonna be at the the gopher game I'm like this is my first game as the gopher are you gonna be there like i don't want you to let this drama get in the way of your support of me as a friend and ginger's like i'll be there i wouldn't want to like dodie even if she said no like my appendix just burst i just got out of the hospital and i kind of don't want to see my ex-boyfriend playing on the field and the girl he cheated on me with cheering for him and but you know dodie wouldn't be understanding to that but like come on girl so they're at the game and simone is doing her cheer thing and you can kind of hear Dar darren on the field like yes yeah, simone do it yeah girl and ginger is visibly like frustrated like oh well anyone can do that no damn well no no that's not true and um then Dodie it's Dodie's turn to get on the field and they're cheering for Dodie yeah she's out there like doing her thing and then Dodie accidentally knocks over the entire cheer pyramid that the girls just set up and everyone is like falling to the ground so it appears as if everyone has fallen on top of Dodie and Dodie um shows up to school the next day in a wheelchair so Dodie announces that she's an official member of the cheer squad now and the coach is kind of just like yeah well she can't perform anyway so we just made her a part of the squad 
But Dodie is like elated. Me, personally, I would feel slighted by that. I'd be like, damn, you only want me when I can't do anything? Like I wasn't, my actual performances aren't good enough for me to be on the team full, full time. So you made me a part of the team when I can't perform. What happens when I can perform? Because you didn't think I was good enough when I was able to perform. You know what I mean? Like, what happens when I'm not injured anymore and I can perform and you still don't like my performances? What happens then, you know? So at lunchtime, Ginger and Macy are expressing their frustration with the fact that now that Dodie's on the cheer squad, they cannot get any access to her. Like, they're, she's supposed to be our best friend and we can't even communicate with her because she is so protected by this cheer squad like no one is able to get in so ginger's like um i'm going in there i am going to see what the hell is up because that's our bestie and i want to i want to be with her like i just got out of the hospital i need my friends around i want to be with her so the cheerleaders pet Ooh, oh my god so the cheerleaders basically play a game of telephone and they're like well i talked to so-and-so who talked to so-and-so who talked to so-and-so who talked to dodie and dodie said she's not accepting visitors right now so ginger just goes back to her table with macy and is like oh well <laughs> i guess we can't see our literal friend after i just got out the hospital which dodie should have taken into consideration because her friend needs support right now she also got cheated on recently maybe Get, get separate yourself from just be think of one person think of one other person for once let's try that so after school ginger and macy decide that they are going to go to dodie's house and drop off a gift basket for her to like a get out of your wheelchair soon gift basket to like make her feel better ginger deserves the gift baskets but uh, of course my ginger she's got a kind heart like she's of course she's gonna go see her friend and outside of uh dodie's front door you can hear her doing some cheers macy is like wow she must be cheering from her wheelchair how totally dedicated and ginger's like dedicated she's totally faking because you can like hear the thumping around of her like moving and when they walk into dodie's room dodie like fake falls to the ground and she's like oh no i knew i overextended my bounds i shouldn't have tried to get up and cheer when i was so hurt and ginger's like you effing faker um my appendix just burst and i got nothing out of it and you cheated your way to the top that's not cool so you need to come clean or i'm gonna do it for you put them big girl panties on gingy it's about damn time after this is season three after two full seasons of Dodie playing y'all ooh, that's it's either too, I have to put on my lashes to see but that smoke out was either way too dark or it's gonna be so hot let's find out it's it's October so we're doing a little ooky spooky and Dodie's just like you can out me if you want to but us pep squad girls we like this they're not gonna believe you so Dodie not Dodie so Ginger and Macy are like well I mean if we're if we can't out her she's gonna have to out herself so remember when I said the smoking out was either sexy or way too much? I don't know why I doubted myself, but I look good. Okay, so over the course of the school day, Ginger and Macy are trying to convince Dodie or trying to get her to get out of the wheelchair in sight of the cheer squad so that she outs herself. So um, Ginger tries to like reverse psychology her to get her to walk because she tells her like you know when if you keep sitting in that wheelchair you're gonna forget how to walk or you're not gonna be able to walk as well and she's like i'll be fine and ginger's like prove it you know but as the cheer girls roll by in their car Dodie like fight fake falls back into the chair and he's like they were bullying me and then macy gets over the intercom and fakes like she's the cheer coach to get uh to get Dodie to go to the cheer office and Ginger and Dodie amb Ginger and Dodie Ginger and Macy ambush her in the hallway and drag her into the bathroom and drag try to steal the wheelchair from her essentially and they give her this speech about like you know honor and merit that's gonna earn you a spot on the team versus you literally cheating your way to the top and she was like i tried the honor and merit thing and they didn't want me so at least this got me something 
and the girls are kind of just like i know like you they're afraid that you're gonna run and tell your parents that they're bullying you and that's why they let you on the squad like they didn't let you on the squad based off your skill or talent and but ginger sort of tells her like yo if you're if they thought you were good enough to be the gopher like they're you're eventually gonna earn your spot on the team and dodie's like you don't get it i'm so good at being the gopher and they're never gonna see me as anything else that's what happens when you're good at something so ginger's like yo just do the right thing and tell the truth and then maybe they'll let you audition for a real spot based off of your skill because you know they at least owe you that. So Dodie goes to the cheer coach, whose name I don't know, <laughs> and she um, tells the truth, and the coach is like, official audition? No, you lied to us. And Dodie's well, like, like, I guess I can continue to be the gopher. And she's like, no! Like, return the cheer costume, return the gopher costume, and get the hell out of my face! <laughs> It's what she deserves. Honestly, truly, it's what she deserves. I'm not mad at this decision. So in school, even though Dodie is not a part of the pep squad anymore, she still tries to talk to them and she's like, hey girls, so remember that mistake I made? Um, <laughs> and the girls literally just walk away from her and Ginger and Macy see the whole thing and they're like, well, in what world is doing the right thing the wrong thing to do? And she's like, well, it was a pretty Macy's just like it's a pretty big thing that she did like she messed up the reputation of the whole cheer squad Ginger's like well she at least deserves a second chance and Macy's like it's not up to us it's up to coach Candace so Ginger in her still disheveled I just got my appendix burst state goes to coach Candace's office Ginger you are doing far too much for this girl these these instances are just off the top of my head i know there's more this let's just go through the ones that we have already covered here on beat tv season one episode five was with the hairy legs got her in trouble for suggesting i don't even know if this was her their fake makeup situation for picture day um the lice situation um the joaquin situation hold on i had a comprehensive list <laughs> She almost revealed to, I have the list, she almost revealed to Ian that Ginger has a crush on him. When Ginger at summer camp wants to talk to Sasha again, she gets mad at Ginger for talking to Courtney about it before her. Girl, that's not even the point of what I'm t coming to you about. The whole art school situation. A three part special about how shitty Dodie is. And then when they get back from art school, what we, the whole episode we covered literally immediately after that. And then when Ginger finds out that she's being cheated on, an episode that we haven't covered yet, but we probably will, um, she keeps her mouth shut so that she doesn't mess up her chances of being on the cheer squad that no one wants her on anyway. This is your best friend since pre-kindergarten as you proclaim. I found that list on Reddit. Um, thank you to that person because my memory is not that long. I have so many cartoons up here, but thank you to that person on Reddit. Um, Dodie, you are horrible. This isn't even Dodie's worst offense. Y'all were saying that this was Dodie's worst offense. Where is the episode with the, is this the one? There's still five minutes left of this episode. Is this the episode with the note where she, no, this can't be because Ginger already knows she got cheated on. So this is like her, to me personally, this is her second worst offense. The first one was where she didn't tell her friend that she was being cheated on because she wanted to be on the cheer squad that no one wanted her on anyway and ginger forgave her after after so many times of forgiving this girl makes me sick to my stomach and then to make it worse ginger is greeted by darren and simone walking down the hallway and they run into her friends you stop talking to me if you cheated on me and you're with the girl that you cheated on me with why i don't care that we're next door neighbors i don't care that we have this long history of friendship i don't care don't talk to me i don't care if we're on the same bus going home i don't care if our moms are besties i don't care if you sleep in the same bed as me don't talk to me why are we talking to each other act like i don't exist and then simone goes sorry about dodie because simone is on the cheer squad so she knows about dodie's lying situation don't 
talk to me. Like, I don't even want to hide from you. You know I don't like you. Why are you talking to me? And then Ginger's so sweet self takes herself to Coach Candace's office and vouches for this girl. After years of what we've just seen, we've only seen them from six, sixth grade? Sixth or seventh grade to ninth grade. And we have seen countless episodes of Dodie being a bad friend. Even at the beginning of this episode when Dodie didn't even ask about her appendix or the fact that she just got cheated on. And she takes herself to coach Candace's office to vouch for Dodie to tell her why she should be back on the team. There is not enough. There is no, there is no, I, my, for, my forgiveness does not go that far. My good personhood, it stops at a certain point. And honestly, it would have stopped it would have stopped at Camp Caprice. It honestly would have stopped at Camp Caprice when she got mad at me about the whole Courtney, telling Courtney about Sasha before me thing. It would have stopped there. It would have stopped at the life situation. It would have stopped at the makeup situation. It would have stopped at the Joaquin situation. The level of patience and forgiveness that I have, it is not to the level of Ginger because at I think at this point, it's not even, oh, Ginger's such a good person. Now I just think that you're dumb for continuing to stick up for this girl after she, I stopped, it definitely would have stopped at the avalanche art situation, but this girl knew you were being cheated on by your lifelong next door neighbor and best friend. And she said nothing to gain for herself. And you are in this office trying to get her back on the cheer squad that she's not talented enough for? Bless you, sweetheart, my cat just sneezed. Are we okay? Are we, what's going on up here? I would love to know what's happening up here because there's no level of forgiveness. There, I cannot, I cannot reach that level of forgiveness. I'm so sorry. My heart can't do it. So Ginger's in the office and Coach Candace is kind of like, if I have, if I forgive Dodie, I have to forgive everybody. And I'm not doing that. Does Dodie think she's the only girl who's ever had her pep squad dreams squashed? Ginger's like, no. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Dodie does not think outside of herself. I would not be surprised if Dodie genuinely thought that she was the only person who ever got wronged by the pep squad. So Coach Candace goes off on this tangent about how she Dodie wants it too much and that's why she's not giving her a chance because no one gave her a chance, whatever. And Ginger's like, well, you said that Dodie can't try out because she faked her injury, not because she wanted it too much that's not fair. So Coach Candace gives her the opportunity to try out again. Honestly, I, if I was Coach Candace, I'd be like, yeah, what about it? Who are you gonna tell this to that would believe you? I know that's a horrible thing, but I, <laughs> but she has the right to deny Dodie from the cheer team if she wanted to. Dodie just gave her a really good excuse. Now she doesn't have to use her fake little no, she wants it too much excuse. Now Dodie gave her a real valid excuse to not put her on the team. If I was Coach Candace, I would have been like, yeah, well, that was my original reason. And now Dodie faked an injury and cheated her way to the top. And now that's my new reason. And what are you going to do about it? I, I, I don't think she'd be wrong to say that either. So Dodie runs up to Ginger in the hallway and gives her a big hug, knowing damn well she just got her appendix out. And she's like, I know you think this whole cheer thing is dumb, but what you did for me was so sweet. Thank you so much. And at the actual um, aud audition, tryout for the pep squad, she actually pulls a muscle. And Coach Candace is like, well, you can be gopher again, but uh, next year you can definitely have a real shot on the team. So, uh, episode over so plot over ginger watches the guys play uh football she meets up with orion who's also in the bleachers and she's like developing a relationship with him whatever ginger your forgiveness is to the point of stupidity because this girl keeps wronging you and you keep doing right by her and i don't understand why i don't get it it doesn't make any sense to me this girl is not a good friend She's teetering on being not a good person. She's, she, I'm sorry, teetering, I lied. She's not a good person. She saw that you were getting cheated on. She knew about it. She did nothing. You were in the hospital, your appendix burst. She, when you return to school, she makes no mention of it and is like, oh, look at me and my thing. 
I get to be a low rent Chuck E. Cheese member for school. I don't care about your pet. Like, come on, friend. I would have been like, hey, Ginger, how are you? Glad that you're doing better. This is what's going on with me. She didn't care about you. And you continue to do right by this girl and I don't understand why. There are far too many instances of her being horrible to you. This forgiveness, I don't know if it's, I'm just a not kind, forgiving person, but I, I could not operate in that way. I could not, I could not allow her to keep stepping over me. If you tolerate disrespect too many times, they're gonna think that you're okay with it. Like at the, like even the leg shaving thing, back in season one, back in season one, was enough disrespect for me to be like, mm, mm, -mm I'm good off you. And then the announcer thing, and then the Camp Caprice thing, and then the Avalanche Arts thing, and then the after Avalanche Arts thing, and now the she didn't tell you about the cheating thing, and now this, and you're still going to bat for this girl? There, it gets to it's it gets to a point where it's like I can't even, I can't feel bad for Ginger being in this position anymore because she keeps letting it happen. The Joaquin thing, back to back to back to back to back, this girl keeps showing you that she does not care for you. And you continue to not only keep her around, but aid her in whatever she wants to do. I, I can't, I can't conceptualize it. It doesn't make sense to me. Someone help me figure it out because I don't get it. That's all. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? This girl is horrible. Someone said that this is the worst, this is peak terrible Dodie. I disagree. When y'all sent this to me, I thought this was the episode with the note. How is this, can someone in the comments please let me know how this is peak terrible Dodie? Because a few of y'all have said that and I was like, I don't, I thought it was the one with the note and then I watched it and I was like, this is definitely not peak terrible Dodie. This is second, but definitely not peak. So if y'all, I, I would love to understand how you came to that conclusion. Please let me know in the comments. But personally, I think the note situation was much worse than this. So please let me know down in the comments. This was really fun to do. I will see you guys next time. I don't know what, what video is going up first but I'm also filming a haul. I'm going to Jamaica. It's gonna be a ton of Jamaica vlogs leading up to and whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys when I see you. I don't currently have a consistent uploading schedule. I need to. I'm trying to continue with my Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.